I'm on a journey to understand how different food affects my body. I have embarked on a testing regime run by Zoe Science and Nutrition. This has included putting on a continuous blood glucose monitor, doing some tests with some controlled meals, collecting a poo sample and sending that off for analysis and doing a blood test. The continuous glucose monitor will keep working for about two weeks and I'm off now to do some little experiments to find out what foods cause what sort of effect to my blood sugar levels. Let's get stuck in. I'm down here now at the market. I'm going to go to the stalls. I'm going to buy a nice loaf of freshly made white bread. I'm going to buy a couple of lovely thick rushes of bacon. So I'm going to really enjoy eating a nice bacon sandwich instead of those flipping awful muffins. I'm really enjoying this bit of the Zoe challenge. Uh, yesterday I got to have three pieces of very nice toast. And today I have got to eat uh, four pieces of very nice bacon and tomorrow I've got to eat three pieces of toast and four pieces of nice bacon together. The idea of the different Zoe blood sugar challenges is to get you as the individual to see how your blood sugar levels respond to different foods and then look at the same foods in combination. The first challenge was the bacon and bread challenge. On the first day, I had to eat some, uh, just some bread and notice the spike in my blood sugar. This is the trace from the blood sugar monitor on that first day and notice the spike that I get after eating that bread. Now this is quite scary because lots of us eat bread and I don't think it's common knowledge as to the impact that has on our blood sugar. Anyway, on the second day, I just had to eat some bacon. This is the blood sugar trace from that day and next to no spike at all. In fact, you can hardly see that I ate anything. This is the blood sugar trace for the third day when I had a bacon sandwich. So there's a bit of a spike or a bit of an increase, but it is much more muted. The message is it's not just what you eat, but how you eat it and the combinations. And we've got to remember that our blood sugar response to different foods is not the whole story about how what we eat affects our bodies. I only have 24 hours left of my glucose monitor. I'm not really sure how well my day in the life of a glucose monitor video is going to turn out because although I was quite good at tracking what was going on earlier on in the day, as the day progressed and my birthday tea was happening, I sort of lost, uh, lost the thread a bit, lost the track. As yet though, I haven't done the Greg's challenge that I had set myself, which is to go and have some Greg's pies or something and see how that influences my blood sugar. This is gonna be the most exciting bit of my uh, Zoe blood glucose monitor experiments. Now I love Greg's. When I sort of reformed my diet a few years ago, or about 18 months ago, my daily visit to Greg's was uh, given the chop because I realised they're full of unprocessed stuff and fat and probably full of carbohydrates as well. But I thought it'd be worth coming out to find out whether actually if I stuff my face with a load of Greg's products, whether it is going to cause a big spike in my blood sugar or not. Here we are. It's actually 1.40 so it's probably a bit late and I may have a bit of a limited um, selection. Oh, nearly at the front of the queue. Bacon and cheese wrap. Vegan Mexican chicken free bacon, I have any of that rubbish. Corned beef, cheese and onion, sausage rolls, pizza. Mm. Delicious. 
Um, this is bacon and cheese wrap. Um, 317 calories, I think. Could be better than that. So this is my pepperoni pizza. A stunning 617 calories. So by the time I've eaten this, combined with my other one, that's nearly a thousand calories. And my normal lunch time is a, a salad that's probably got 250 calories in it. Well, I have to say, I really did enjoy that. It'd be interesting to see now how my blood sugar response develops in the next couple of hours, and whether I get a big crash, and whether I end up feeling tired and hungry in a, a couple of hours time. Here's my blood sugar trace. I had the Greggs at about half past one, and this is the increasing blood sugar I had after that. So it's pretty moderate really. And when I compare it to my breakfast, which would be rolled oats, nuts, and some kefir, about the same. I did have quite a drop thereafter though. And it wasn't until I had my tea, which was about uh, 7.30, and a glass of wine, because it was my birthday, that I had a bit of a bounce back in my blood sugar. Well, that was a lot of fun. I do enjoy a Greg's and to get to eat a cheese and bacon wrap and pepperoni pizza all in one sitting was fantastic. But how have I got on with the blood sugar monitor? Pretty well, really. It works pretty seamlessly with the app. I was amazed that I managed not to knock it off or damage it in the two weeks in which the monitor works. It is a bit faffy to log every meal that you have, especially if you're cooking from scratch rather than just buying something in a packet or having something straight out of a ready cooked meal, for example. I suppose that's the penalty you pay for being interested in what you eat and trying to eat a sensible diet. Were there any big surprises? The main one, I think, was when I had a banana and got really quite a massive spike. And also then there was the packet of corn chips I had, which really gave me a bit of a spike also. It was also really interesting to see how different food combinations affect the blood sugar spike. So when I had three slices of toast, I got a big spike, but when I had a bacon sandwich made with three slices of the same bread, I didn't get anywhere near the same blood spike. That's good news. Bacon sandwiches can stay on the menu. Would I recommend the Zoe program thus far? Definitely. If you're interested in what you eat and how it affects you, I would say, go and sign up. So that's it for this video, but I am now on tenterhooks waiting for my test results to come through. Catch me up in the next video to find out what they are. And before you go, please do like and subscribe. See you soon. Thank you.